Hello everybody, my name is Zool, and welcome to the KOTOR Mod Showcase. In today's episode, we are going to be looking at a mod called Jedi from the Start. This mod features, you guessed it, the ability to be a Jedi from the beginning of KOTOR 1. But that's not all it has. It actually completely redoes the Endar Spire tutorial and makes it so much better. Uh, for those of you who followed me for a little while, you know that I hate the Endar Spire with a passion and I wish I could kill it with fire. It is just the most stupid, unimmersive, boring, tedious, hand-holding piece of crap in an RPG I've seen in a very long time. KOTOR 2 gets so many points for having an excellent, skippable prologue that still fits into the game. Uh, I usually actually use a mod, Super Skip Terrace. You can find a video on my channel, it's rather out of date so I'm not going to link it, that shows you how to skip uh, the Endar Spire. That's what I use it for. It doesn't work properly to skip Terrace anymore. Uh, but anyway, for those of you who are wondering why I hate this part with a passion, here's just some nice little conversations I had with Trask on the Endar Spire. To move towards the footlocker, hold down the right mouse button and face the camera towards it. Then hold down the left mouse button as well to cause the character to run forward. You can move the mouse to the edges of the screen to rotate the camera. Alternately, moving the mouse while holding down the right mouse button will rotate the camera as well. Yes, you could argue that this is a way to integrate the mechanics to new players, but honestly, I think it's terrible. They already have the tutorial pop-ups which show you a lot of different things. I don't see why they couldn't integrate the controls or things like that in there. I mean, if you don't know how to move your character around, there's a little bit of a problem. Now, the mod, that totally changes things. First off, it switches Trask to be a Twi'lek, uh, so that he can be voiced in an alien voice, because obviously the mod author didn't want to voice act this mod, but it still works out really well. Take a listen. You'll notice there's no references to clicking here or controlling you, anything like that, and this really streamlines and actually makes the Endar Spire fun. Now, I'm sort of talking about this part of the mod more than I'm talking about being the Jedi because that's honestly what I like the best about it. Being a Jedi from the start is fun, it allows you to have a ton of fun on Terrace swinging around a lightsaber, it does sort of break the story a little bit which is a little unfortunate so it's not my personal cup of tea. However, if you do want to be a Jedi from the beginning, this mod obviously does that. In fact, you start with a lightsaber and some Jedi robes that you'll see here. So if that's what you're into, go ahead and do that. Personally, I kind of wish the mod was available uh, with the new storyline written, but just not. Not changing the lore so much so that you're actually a Jedi. I think that sort of changed things a little bit. Now, this, this does affect uh, a little bit of stuff later on. I mean, it does change some of the loot you get on Dantooine. Uh, you get different robes, but for the most part, the story's going to act exactly the same, because this mod pretty much only exists on the Endar Spire. Now, it does a great job at what it does. It's, again, not my personal preference, but it is highly recommended to those of you who hate the slow uh, gunplay style thing. Uh, this is kind of the opposite of uh, what I did in my latest playthrough where I was playing as a gun-toting Jedi. Uh, this, this lets you be a Jedi right from the beginning, and you feel really powerful. This, of course, also makes the ending scene make so much more sense. I mean, no longer is it just some random soldier with a vibroblade going up against a Sith Master, who uh, you can evidently see right here. Instead, it's your Jedi Master going to fight another Sith. It, it just makes so much more logical sense the way this story is laid out. And I think other than the fact that, you, you know, it breaks the main story by you being force sensitive from the beginning, if you suspend your disbelief a little bit, it's a lot more fun. So yeah, go ahead and download this mod. Uh, on the mod page, it did mention there might at some point be an update to Terrace, but for now, who knows? The mod hasn't been updated in a while, but it's pretty much good for what it does. It's amazing. 
the writing, all that kind of stuff is great, and if the mod author feels like he could expand upon this, I think that that would be something that would be amazing. Anyway, thank you very much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed, sorry for being a little bit more rambly, I try and keep these videos shorter now since that seems to be more popular, but I don't know. Uh, so please consider subscribing to my channel if you would like to see more KOTOR content. Uh, I'm also getting back into Dragon Age, I'm trying to get everything worked out there, but I haven't quite done that yet. Uh, stay subscribed to see more. Anyways, uh, thanks for all the support, I guess. You guys are the best. I have been Zool, have an excellent day.